over the past few weeks i've received so many comments and so many questions from you guys about what a levels you should be taking in order to apply for medicine and i'm pretty sure the same applies to dentistry and veterinary medicine as well so this is for those of you who are probably in year 10 and year 11 who are considering medicine and not sure about it so that's what this video is about so make sure you give it a like and comment and subscribe and let's get straight into the video taking a levels it's a bit of a daunting experience you've got 10 subjects for your gcse's and now you're going down to three so it's really about figuring out what subjects you want to be doing if you want to apply to medicine then that's what this video is about if you don't want to apply to medicine i think you need to click on the video make sure you choose your a levels that you actually want to study and subjects that you actually enjoy don't be like me so when i was in year 12 we actually did as levels because i'm old i'm a grandma i chose biology chemistry math and then it always took psychology and to be honest i i didn't really enjoy psychology i enjoyed psychology right but I didn't, I didn't actually like the way that it was taught. I think it's because it was very case-based and it wasn't in as, as enjoyable as I thought it was going to be. So I kid you not, in the first few weeks, I was sitting there in my psychology lesson and I was writing a table, one to do with psychology and one to do with DT. Because I was umming and ahhing between psychology and DT. I was like, should I do psychology? Should I do DT? Because I really enjoyed DT and I was honestly getting so annoyed with psychology. Long story short, I ended up doing it anyway because I was worried that DT was gonna to be too time consuming and it had already been a few weeks and I'd be so behind, etc, etc. So ultimately, if I was gonna turn back time, I would really want to do DT. So I would have done biology, chemistry, maths, and DT as well. As you can see, just choose A levels that you're going to enjoy because what's the point of doing something that you're going to absolutely hate? But the key thing to understand is that most medical schools, like at minimum, they want you to do biology and chemistry. And that's because a lot of biology and bits of chemistry is what's taught at medical school. I don't really know where the chemistry comes in, have to be honest, a little bit in first year for me. But since then, we haven't been told to do like reduction and oxidation reaction. I'm not saying that it's not important, but personally I didn't see the relevance of it, but obviously I enjoyed chemistry. I really, really loved doing all the problem solving stuff. So obviously I took biology and chemistry. And as I mentioned before, I took maths because I enjoyed maths. In year 12 I did, in year 13 I hated it, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> Most medical schools want you to do biology and chemistry plus another subject. Usually they don't actually mind what your third subject is going to be, and it can pretty much be anything that you like. So I've actually done a little bit of research for you guys, and what I've found is that some of the universities have given a selection of subjects that you can choose from as your third subject, and they've also given a selection of subjects that they would not like you to do. So some of this comes under like general studies, like citizenship, like things like that. So if I was going to take the University of Leicester as an example, they excluded things like, and I'm going to read off a list for this one, general studies, citizenship studies, critical thinking, and global perspectives. So yes, you can use the GCSEs and that's not, an, that's not a problem at all, but unfortunately they don't consider this as an option for your third subject at A level. So like I said, as you can see, if I was going to turn back time, I would choose subjects that I enjoy alongside biology and chemistry, because at the end of the day, you guys are spending two years studying three subjects that you are going to use for your application for your university degree but that doesn't mean that I loved biology so much like every part of it there were sections that I didn't enjoy but for the most part I thoroughly enjoyed learning biology and revising biology alongside chemistry as well and to help you guys out even more I'm going to insert a link down in the description box below just to give you an idea of what each university expects from you in terms of the A levels so hopefully when you're applying you can choose the universities that you want to and choose your A-levels accordingly. So that's it from this video. It's a short and sweet one, but I really hope it gives you an insight into what you could be doing at A-levels, especially if you want to apply to medical school. I'd say definitely do biology and chemistry and think about that third subject. So as always, if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to support the channel by giving it a like and comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next video.